Panther Nation, Draft Family, what's cracking? Hey, what's good, y'all? So, hey, listen, before we get into this, make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Uh, help us get to 4,000 subscribers before the draft. That would be awesome. Uh, gonna have some giveaways at that draft party if, if we can make that happen. Uh, so, uh, today we got Pat Fryermuth uh, out of Penn State. He's a tight end. Six foot five, 260 some odd pound uh, tight end. Listen, he's a beast, okay? Um, not quite, he's not going to be your Kyle Pitts, more of a traditional tight end, uh, but he ha he does offer some ability in the receiving game, Not obviously nowhere near as athletic as Pitts, uh, nowhere near as the mismatch nightmares Pitts, but if you're looking at this cat, you think more of a, of a Travis Kelsey type or George Kittle type, not to say he's going to be one of those, I'm just saying in the, in the sense that he can block and he can receive, uh, he can block and catch, that's what you really want. Uh, you don't want to have, like, for instance, the Panthers. We have Chris Manhurts. He's strictly a, a blocking tight end. Like, there's nothing else that he's going to offer uh, to, to the game. He's just going to block. Um, then we have uh, Ian Thomas. Ian Thomas is going to be more of your receiving tight end when we target him. But right now, Joe, with Joe Brady's offense, either he doesn't have the piece that he needs or we're just not using the tight ends. But I think maybe we just need more talent. And I think this is where uh, Friar Muth can come in. All right, so... um. That being said, man, let's go ahead and jump right into the film here. He's got a couple couple games uh, that he played this year. Let's look at the let's look at this Nebraska film first. Let's look at the Penn Those State emotions. versus Nebraska. Let me pick this mute button right quick. Um, let's get to it. Let's skip the ad. Follow this dude, man. These these cats that put out these videos work hard, man. I know it's not it's not easy. So follow them, man. Well, let's get into let's get into this joint. Yeah, again, six foot five, two fifty. He can block. Uh, let's see what he can do in the, in the blocking game. Let's see what he can do in the, uh, in the receiving game. Uh, let's see where he's at, man. Oh, in the slot right now. Little tuck that thing and go. He doesn't look as big as I thought he would. Pause. Thought he'd be a little bit bigger. Oh, nice. Nice little pull. Good block right there. Good block. It's a really good block. He does not want to throw him the ball. Again, the, the tight end, the tight end in the NFL is not going away. As much as people, you know, want to think, you know, tight ends and they're not gonna, you know, there there you go. Good catch. You got laid out too. You got laid out. Got back up though. But the tight end is still an important uh, position, man. If you have a good one, uh, you know, more power to you. And when you don't have a good one, it's apparent. Look at the Panthers, all right? Uh, we missed Greg Olson, something serious. I haven't had a good one since. Uh, and that's, he's been gone, what, two, couple years now? Two or three years? Uh, no, he just went last year. But uh, maybe two years. I can't remember. He's been hurt. I can't remember when his last game was. Um, but, yeah. We need, so you need a good tight end. You need one. They create mismatches, um, especially if they're athletic enough. Uh, they're tough to guard. When you have a good one, you can expose uh, defenses. So it's still important. Mm. And again, just because he's not featured in the past game. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, they read that. It was a tight end. Oh, you got to hold on to the ball right there. That's going to be a, a house call. Sack, strip sack, fumble recovery, all that. Good block. Hmm. It's a helmet to helmet, ain't it? Uh, but yeah. Oh, it missed. He whiffed right there. I still got the first. Nice, got to the second level. Ooh, that was good block. That was a really good block by Fryermuth right there. Really good block, got up to the second level, uh, freed up the running back. Watch this, 87, watch him go to the next level, boom, free up. That's that's the one that freed him up. That's a really good block. Good play by Fryermuth. Uh, unless they call Holden or something somewhere. Oh, good tough run right there, he's short. Good catch, let's see what you can do. Oh, nice, see? See, he's athletic enough now. He can move a little bit. A little shifty. A little shifty there. They call him Baby Grump. 
Um, you know, Gronk, I don't know how big Gronk is weight-wise. Uh, I think Gronk is like 6'7", too. So he's got a, Gronk's got a couple inches on him. Paws. And, um, but yeah, I don't think quite, not quite baby Gronk. I guess he is a, technically. I guess he's going to be smaller. Ooh, got to catch that ball. It's a drop. He heard the footsteps. He heard the footsteps. Good block. Mm. Good block. Held his block a little bit. A little bit. I uh, can't hold the blocks forever, man. It's good blocking. I like to see him get to a spot a little bit quicker. They look like a lazy route to me. That was a good catch. No yak. Mm. Quarterback got smacked. Mm. Nice. Nice move right there. Going deep. Nice. Wide open. Let's see if he can get 4-5. I mean, 4-5 is active. Oh, man, he should not have gotten caught. That's That was like a 4-7. That was like a 4-8. That was 4-8 speed activator right there. Man, he was slow, bro. I, I like to see him not get caught right there, but he is a tight end. It, I mean, I'm not. Let me not be too, too tough on the kid, man. But that was that was he was, he was slow, man. He was slow. Mm, nice route. Oh, man. Got to catch that. That was a good route, though. It's a good little wiggle. Little juke route. Oh, nice little sluggo. Didn't get it to, get it to him. Mm, nice tough run right there. What I, what I read about him, though, uh, what I read about Pat was he's really smart. He knows to f how to find the open spots in the zones. There you go, right there. Good found. That was a good open spot in the zone that he sat, sat on his route. Good job. That was a good job right there. Kind of spoke, spoke that up. Mm. What I'm hearing, he's got good IQ, good football IQ. So. Slow, slow out route. His his routes got to get a little bit more crisp. Um, but again, tight end. It's, it's something that he's got. He's gonna have to develop. And I'm I'm, I'm really interested to see what he tests because he doesn't look super athletic. That's a bad throw. I think it was there too. Mm, third and goal. It's the last play of the game. Got to make it happen. They don't make it. Ooh, he got smacked. Man, he got smacked. Just stay down, bro. He had six catches for 113 yards. Man, that's a lot. I didn't even. I couldn't even tell, man. They they rack up yardage so much. You can hardly tell. All right, so let's take a look at. This is gonna be last year versus Ohio State, the Ohio State University. Let's check it out. Again, last year's film, not this year. So just go go easy on them. Yeah, I'm. I'm. A, I want to see see if he can uh, get away from some of these linebackers. Getting to step up in talent here, it's a different level of talent. So you got a nice out route. Good. Nope. No catch. That was a good pass breakup by the linebacker. Here we go. Mm, Chase Young wreaking, wreaking havoc. Probably picked a bad one to watch since Chase Young gonna be all in the back hit backfield.
Nice pocket. That was a nice pocket presence by the quarterback right there. Mm. Um, good deep. He turned into a DB. He did turn into a DB. Is that Okuda right there? I think that was Jeff Okuda, my guy. Ohio State defense, man, they're tough. They're tough. You don't see him blocking as much in this game. Obviously, they gotta they gotta get going in the pass game. So, nice cut block right there. These design QB runs ain't it, man. Hmm. Sean Wade right there. Hmm. Good stiff arm. Good solid blocking right there. Led to the touchdown. Good play. Good run. Nice. Nice. That touchdown, man. And that was a good catch in traffic. You got to give them the touchdown on that one, bro. They didn't either. It's a good catch by uh, Firemuth. Good chase, riding his, riding his back. Flag on the play. Man, there's no time for this dude to throw the ball, bro. Didn't really think about this one before I picked it. Look at Chase Young, man. Feasting. QB draw, it's not working, bro. I seen it work. I seen it play call like thirty times, bro. F call something else, man. They taking all the little yards they can get. Nice block right there. Nowhere. It's good defense is too good. Bro, where was he throwing the ball? Yo, that that had to have been a mis miscommunication because uh, Fryermuth was blocking and the dude uh, looked like it was a screen or something. I don't know what that was. Hold on, let's just say it was a miscommunication. Mm, good close, good closing speed right there by 26. Here we go. Ah, Sean Wade sighting. He has no time to throw the ball, man. Dog, they are killing this dude, man. 
I should not have picked this video. They killing that man. I didn't, I didn't get a, a good look there. Let me see if I can find one more, a short one. Let's, yeah, let's do it versus Maryland. I think this is from this year too. Yep, refs got the mask on. That's how I look. Nice catch right there. Hmm. Little screen. Oh, terrible throw. It's a little tight end screen. Trying to get the man the ball. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, you overthrew him. He was right up the scene. That was a good play, man. It's a good play. You missed him. He got smacked. That's probably why. It's a good block by Friar Muth. I don't know why it's going so fast. I'm not doing that. Here we go. Nice catch. Nice. I don't know why it's going slow like that. It's not me. I almost probably could have got, got away with a little PI right there, but it, the refs didn't call. It didn't happen. It's a nice route, though. Nice slant route over, over the middle. Not afraid to take a hit. Oh, going deep. Oh, did he beat somebody? Oh, you got to hold on to that. You got to hold on to that. I guess he's fast enough to beat somebody. I think he beat a linebacker or somebody. Or, or he beat him with the route. One or the other. That's not me. I don't know why it's, it's, it's jumping like that, y'all. It's the video. Slow motion. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Slant over the middle. Here we go. Good, good blocking. Pushing for that first down. Nope, didn't quite get it. Lined out out wide. Let's see what he can do here. Uh, I gotta get off that. He kinda got stuck. I don't know if he got held. Oh, came back, still got the ball though. Yeah, he got held somewhere along the way. You got the scramble drill after that. Help your quarterback out a little bit. Nice. He's beating these he's beating these linebackers. Again, that's a mismatch. He's winning. Now will he be able to do that in the NFL? I'm not sure. There's a lot many more athletic linebackers in the NFL. All right, so that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for uh, Pat for our youth. Um, again, this tight end class, it, it's all on how you evaluate, right? Um, if you want an athletic pass catching tight end in the like a Waller type, again, you're gonna go for Kyle Pitts. But if you want that hybrid guy that can do both, uh, again, his hands are nowhere near as good as Pitts are. You saw a couple drop balls in there, uh, but again, I think he could develop into something uh, a little bit better. Again, a six foot five, two hundred sixty pounds. Um, he's he's a, a, a solid size, solid tight end. Um, so I, I like him. I like him. Uh, again, the Panthers need to upgrade the tight end. Uh, whether you do that in undrafted free agency uh, or you do that uh, wherever you can do it, uh, we got to upgrade because it's it's not pretty right now for a tight from a tight end perspective. One of the weaker parts of our offense, right along with the offensive line. So uh, definitely need to upgrade there. Uh, there's a couple others in this draft I'd look at. But Friar Muth, I think I got him. Yeah, he, I think he's my second overall tight end. Uh, but you know, I'm not, not definitely not looking at him in the first or anything like that. Probably second or third round, uh, and that might be a stretch for me. I might go for one a little bit later than that. Uh, but that's just me. Uh, so that's all I got. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button, um, and I'll see y'all the next one. All right, peace.